34. Red Chan compromised. Yeah, of course, the good news, the pink has gone uh, half out of commission. One. Rob Milkins at a vital moment in the first round. That's the, the biggest fluke for me of the entire tournament. Didn't quite get the cue ball round the corner, so he can't get close to the red unless he goes round the houses. Fifty-six. And this is where being ambidextrous, truly ambidextrous on a snooker table comes in. So useful. This one in terms of difficulty is right up there because it's bolt straight. Ugh. 57. Wow. Left or right, you could watch it all night. Already, the signs are ominous. Ninety six. Ninety seven. And preposterously, the 42nd he's made in the champion of champions over the years. I'll get him five. Under Nate. Hundred and seventeen. Alan McManus, one of the great connoisseurs of world class snooker, is sitting here just admiring. Oh. Ronnie O'Sullivan, really and he made and it had no play. consequence. When Fan Zheng Yi missed the black, you thought something like that might happen. O'Sullivan doubles his advantage. 2-0 and flying. Such a ferocious front runner is Ronnie that the only thing you know, he's not going to rest on any laurels while he's out there. Off again. One. Yeah, a brilliant shot that, isn't it? <laughs> 
illustrating how difficult that was and hardly any pocket to go at. That's unlucky, I suppose it's fair dinkum. Yeah, very unfortunate, but let's seven. call it one apiece. <laughs> and the fortune stakes. Great pot. Yes, it was a wee bit similar to that one we showed in the angle at the top of the programme, wasn't it? Where, as you say, Phil got it thick. Almost a kind of blind spot for him, but I don't know, maybe just probably been hypercritical, but yeah, it's a shot he tends to not play all that well. Of course, there was a lot of pressure on it. I think I'd like to feature about this tournament, the way the table's played, the, along the cushion, the pockets are not generous, but playable. So this 30-40 point lead doesn't count for an awful lot. Oh, yes. Wow. can do it, just try and lay the cue ball in the corner. They definitely believe in something. Just the question of how difficult whatever red Ronnie face wants to play. He's, I think he's got the straightish one that goes top side of blue. Big shot this coming up, as Phil said, the way the reds are. Lots of reward and offer. Well, oh, actually, he said the next mistake could be costly. That was more inspiration. Great pressure shot. Eighty. When they met at Milton Keynes in February, the script was ripped up. Here, the form book is looking much more reliable. Eighty-five. Eighty-six. No and the second play. century of the match for Ronnie O'Sullivan. The breaks of 89, 117, and latterly 86. At the halfway point, he leads 3 1. It's not a natural angle. He could make it into it. He's done quite well to make as many as he has from where the balls have been. That's another top shot, isn't it? Positionally. Break that seems never to end. Just when you think it's about to. Thirty-nine. Well, he might go into the reds here. He's got an angle to disturb them. They've got to force it. This time. The break is over. 45. Made some brilliant breaks in his career. This 45 break hasn't been bad, I can tell you. Without anything ever on. Ronnie yeah, 45. in the end, he just needed to get on one, didn't he? Which he didn't. Otherwise, that could have been prime over. And really is clinging on by his fingernails here. Different sort of vibe, of course, to when they played in that final last season, because in the final there's a trophy waiting 
This is different. This is to get into the final. The crowd have been uh, watching O'Sullivan with great interest and great admiration. And if they have tickets for tomorrow, and it is O'Sullivan Trump, that's going to be some day. A rematch of the world final. well because you've got no control over the red that you miss he thought it was a fairly safe way to play it and you see the red just double kiss the cue ball and gone close up to the yellow pocket at the very end of it but like you say he's in all kinds of trouble here and it's a horrid snooker well, he's coming off a couple of cushions here maybe he's playing the little glance not easy if he is difficult shot this oh dear that's the one thing you cannot do on that shot is hit too much of it almost better off to miss it and get a the feeler for the shot it looked it looked as if it was a pretty dangerous shot to take on options were thin on the ground mind you so this lead doesn't look too much now One. is it just 32 yeah he's worked all that out hasn't he 37 just as i say just looks really sharp in general he's really focused hard here to do a job this evening and the job's nearly done he's just glancing at the scores again two reds two blacks 44 with 28 in front with 27 on 45 yeah this is where the scoreboard comes into play 52 Red black is the sort of match play shot here. Eliminates any 50. chance that he could miss the yellow who took a lower value colour. <laughs> all over Dan Jun Yi at the moment. It's not dissimilar in the way it's going to the match against Zhao Jin Tong the other night. 62. Yeah, I mean, Fan got in well, but he only made 32, and it's just not any sort of lead, really. Green stays out, so it's two snookers Ronnie needed. Sullivan, 62. Break ended rather unexpectedly at 62. Yeah, it's potentially a dangerous table. If it was someone like Mark Selby walking to the table now, you'd be worried. I'm not saying that Van can't get the snookers, but you know what I'm saying. Certain Three. players are more proficient than others. If he stays on the brown ball, it's two snookers. Oh, he's not really very threatening either way there, is he? Fan Might have been better to pop the brown and get it on blue, pink and black. Uh. It's just not his night, is it? Didn't get the snooker. And in goes the brown. Four. So Sullivan on the brink. Of a meeting with Jeff Trump tomorrow. <coughs> Pretty attacking safety shot. He played one of those towards the end of the match with Ryan Day. And Jen Yi and... Uh, it eventually won in the match, but depends if this goes in, I guess. Oh. 
It's the one part of his game, I what? think, at his age, where Ronnie's long game is not always as good as everything else in his Shh. game. Not when they're at the table, please. I don't think he's quite the best long potter in the game, but often, you know, his safety and his break building completely makes up for it. Still not bad, though, as you saw. Just finished a little awkward here. This is a big shot. Oh, crunched into the back of the pocket. People didn't quite make the ground up that he thought it would for the next oh. red. 16 seconds a shot. He's not running around the table, but he's playing at uh, very fast tempo. Five. Five. Well, the stage was set, wasn't it, for a kind of grandstand finish there with the Reds in the open. Fancied maybe a century to win it, but he's missed this blue. And finally in this match, he's found his best game. It's going to be some effort to turn it round, but this is very encouraging the way he's won this frame. Seizing on that miss from Ronnie O'Sullivan. 98. Yes, he's an improving player. I mean, there's no doubt. You just can see the confidence coming into his game. 101. A good century break that really well made. One hundred and five. A bit of bounce in his step. Yeah, I think the shackles are off, though, aren't they? It's just a question of let's go for it. And in this frame, he's been very impressive. Oh! Yeah, good. Oh! Clearance of 123. Oh! Fan Zheng Yi. 123. Producing the snooker that got him into the champion of champions, got him into the semi finals. He pulls one back. O'Sullivan's lead is cut to 5 2. Chance from Sullivan. One. I think is the thin one to the left corner here. One. Still sometimes take for granted that his ability to play with the opposite hand. I mean, he screwed a, a red down the cushion earlier in the match with his left hand. Any left hander would have been pleased with. And he's a right hander. 37. Been pretty clinical, I think. 38. It's always an intriguing rivalry. It feels like for about 10 years, Judd Trump has been trying to wrestle Ronnie O'Sullivan's crown away from him as top dog in the sport. And at times, you know, it looks like he might have done it. Then O'Sullivan has hit back, as of course he did at the Crucible. 44. Want to really settle back and enjoy it. 45.
enjoyed tonight, even though it's not been close. O'Sullivan 51 has played to a high level, and fan will regret just a few errors here and there. And Ronnie O'Sullivan going out on a high. Fifty-five. Fifty-seven. Enjoyment this 60. man has brought to people is as impressive of all as all the titles he's won. You look around the room, people smiling, enjoying this skill on show. Sixty-four. 69. He made breaks of 89, 117, 86, 55, 62. 75. 82 to, cl to close if he pops the black. 75 will have to do. Ronnie O'Sullivan beats Bang Jang Yi by six frames to two. So the final is the defending champion against the world champion. It's Judd Trump against Ronnie O'Sullivan to decide who is the champion of champions.